All right, we're going to start taking a look here at AOI logic. AOI is AND, OR, or inverter logic. Common uh, in all the electronics we use today. Most of the stuff that you're going to use is in NAND or NOR technology. But the first one we're going to take a look at is an AND gate. And we're going to look how an AND gate uh, looks uh, as a chip that might be on your phone or something like that, or the actual logic, not the chip. But and then how that transfers into ladder logic. All right, so this is what our AND gate looks like. And what it means is A and B output a Z. All right, so we represent that in Boolean as AB equals Z. Now, when you handle this, I want you to think multiplication, but it's not truly multiplication. But as we go through it, you'll kind of see why it ends up being that way. So we use what we have called over here as a truth table. These are our possible combinations using zeros and ones. We have to go this route because we have two inputs. So we're going to use 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Remember, binary is just 0 or 1. So let's take and let's put this through an AND gate. If we have, if A is 0 and B is 0, our output is going to be 0. Think of it kind of as 0 times 0 is 0. If we send A with a 0 in and B with a 0 in, 0 and 0 is still an output of 0. If we send B with a 1 and A with a 0, okay, we're going to get the same thing here. So anytime one of these is a 0, our output's going to be a 0. Now, if we have 1 and 1, our output is going to be a 1. So anytime, if this is 0 or this is 0, in an AND gate, the output will always be 0. The only way for an AND gate to have an output of a 1 or a logic high is if A and B are both 1, then our output is 1. So this is what the truth table looks like for an AND gate. If we want to take a look at what an AND gate looks like in ladder logic. Okay, we're going to have our two inputs, our two contacts still. And we're going to roll with our Siemens terminology here. So this would be A, which would be our I 0, 0.0. This would be our B, Okay, and this is I 0.1. And this is our output Q, and that's 4.0. All right? So, remembering this is our address, these are both what we call normally open contactors. So we represent those with NO. All right, if we want to take a look at what one of these chips looks like, if we're going to look at an AND chip, it's a 74LS32 AND chip, okay? And it has 14 pins here. Okay, just to give you an idea. So this one's going to go to voltage, VCC you know, 5 volts for what we operate here in class. This one's going to go to ground. All right, so the way these chips look like is each one of these chips can hold four AND logic gates. And they all look very similar to this. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like on the inside of the chip here. We have the two inputs and the output. Same with down here two inputs and an output and lastly one last one here so I'm just drawing little AND gates here they should look similar to this guy over here on the left hand side but this is essentially what these chips look like so they have 14 pins and inside there are four logic gates four different AND gates so I can you know control four different logic controls here. Alright, next up, next video is covering OR.